All right, guys, we're here with uh, James McSweeney. Uh, congratulations on uh, signing here with uh, Rhino Sport Gallery. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing a lot of progress uh, in the near and future. Um, tell us a little bit about how you've been, uh, how training's been going here. Well, it's been really good for me. I mean, first of all, thank you for having me. And uh, sure. I mean, uh, it's been a real privilege to come down to train at Rhino's. I was always uh, um, with Rhino Sport Gallery, kind of part time before we were using other gyms. But um, now I'm kind of more full time down here. Um, one of my parts of my industry that I really need to learn more of is wrestling. And um, I, I take advice from the best. And Richard Evans and uh, King Mo are very close personal friends of mine. And they put me onto Rhino Sports Gallery and they said it was the best wrestling training they ever had. And uh, coming from them, calibers of wrestlers, and that means a lot to me. So um, I took it on board and I started coming down. And then uh, now I finally made the full transition to come down here more permanently and help with the gym. It's new and it's up and coming. So um, I think it's going to be uh, there's some great characters down here like uh, Joe Warren, and there's some crazy, crazy guys down here right now. And some Olympic nationals are coming down here to wrestle and uh, just learning the sport. I mean, from England, where I'm from, we don't wrestle at all. So we don't learn in high school or nothing like that. So to learn the fun fundamentals of uh, high school wrestling and college level then you know going on to the Olympic level I mean some of these guys are beasts and so you know in, in England uh, why do you think that there isn't any wrestling there especially like in high schools and you know in college or youth not, level it's just not in their curriculum and uh, it's not known as their, their sport to right. be honest I mean um, soccer is, is there or we call it football is their number one sport and then uh, then it goes to even like Thai boxing which is my background even that is really, I mean, there's some great levels now coming through, but it's never been a huge sport, a recognized sport for England. So you have to really get into the underground side of Thai boxing in England to, to learn their fundamentals. And I think you can seek out some good wrestling places now. I mean, now the UFC is coming so big in the UK, and I think that the UK MMA is getting larger and larger with all these new shows coming through. And uh, I just think it's, uh, it's growing every day. And I think there's now MMA gyms that are teaching wrestling. But it's still not that core wrestling that is out there in America. I think America has the, the highest level of wrestling uh, up there with the, the Americans and the Russians, and, uh, and it's, in their, it's in their circuit. So for me, it's perfect for me to be here and, uh, uh, and just try and uh, add that extra part to my game. You know? And what uh, obviously, you know, when you're training with uh, levels of wrestlers that you're training with here, the mentality is really kind of what separates them from the different from the rest. Uh, well, I, I do you agree? I, I totally agree, and I, and I think that um, I think wrestlers are some of the hardest working athletes I've ever ever come across. To be honest, they've got this uh, never say die uh, attitude, and uh, they they just work and work and they work and they go and they go and they go, and and, and that's something um, that I really am uh, improving on. And I mean, for me to, to recover, I can stand up and I can recover because of my striking. But it seems to be when I when I wrestle, you know, it's an effort for me. So it really, I have to really learn. And, and the more guys I'm wrestling with, the more time I'm putting in. And Ryan Tobin is, is a great coach. And uh, I, I'm just learning the fundamentals, and, and it's coming on board now. And what what types of uh, what types of facility? I mean, do you see Rhino as you see it as kind of one of the elite facilities? I mean, do you see it as a mid road facility? I know it's brand new. But, uh, you know, is it growing? I mean, is I it... Mean, I mean, right now, I mean, like you said, it's a growing facility. And, and at the end of the day, they've got every, every attribute to be one of the best facilities in America because um, it's a large facility. It's got great atmosphere, great coaches. Uh, they've got sleeping quarters, saunas. I mean, they thought of everything in this gym. Uh, and they're a very, very impressive uh, conditioning suite with uh, great guys from Barefoot Fitness. I mean, they, these guys are... are uh, uh, they take training and, and conditioning to a level where it, it's, just, it's just an absolute science and everyone is, is trained completely different and evaluated differently and, and um, I've been with them now for the last five weeks and, and uh, my improvements I've seen myself leaps and bounds already. I was just and, about to ask you. And uh, that is one of the biggest things for me that I'm really noticing that I'm, I can grapple and grapple and keep going and before two, three rounds I was getting a little bit tired and I'd be like thinking wow man I've got to dig to a deeper place but it seems to be later stages of rounds now yeah. four, round four round five I'm, I'm getting that and it is a huge part of their conditioning and that's really helping me out tell us a little bit about the quality of wrestlers that you're training with oh they're just uh, pound for pound some of the best wrestlers in the world um, there's no doubt about that because I mean I mean, Joe's only a small, uh, a small uh, weight compared to me, but just to be taught by someone of that level and to know the insides, Ryan Tobin, I mean, he's one of the, uh, 
the best leg wrestlers, I think, and control wrestlers of, of his time. And uh, you just have to look him up on the internet, you know, on YouTube, and you can see his videos. I mean, the guy at wrestled Brock Lesnar in, in his prime and, and absolutely being probably 40 pounds lighter than him, controlled him and did everything he wanted to him at will. I mean, I've never seen nothing like that before. And Ryan's uh, a straight-up, legitimate, hardcore wrestler, and he's got that old mentality from back in the day. And, you know, he's been around a long time. And when you meet these guys like that, and the same when I meet my Thai boxing coaches, they've been around for 20, 30 years. And when they've been around that long, and they've got that much experience, and they've got that much of a good name, you, you have to be someone who's very stupid to look past them. And if you get an opportunity to train one of them, you have to take it with both hands. And that's training really been the best fun. year that you've ever had? Yeah, great. With the altitude, the training, yeah. and, and also the commitment from the guys. I mean, I, I've always had great guys I've trained with, but um, I've always had sometimes lack of commitment from some of the coaches that I've trained with or conflicts, and you just don't get that here. I mean, these guys are, are, are just legit, real people. And, yep. and they're, they're straight, and that's all you can wish for. Yep. Anything uh, you'd like to say to your sponsors? Uh, no, all to all my sponsors, VPX, uh, Jacko, and um, <laughs> uh, Throwdown and Affliction. Uh, just thank you for your support, and uh, I've got some fights lined up real soon. And uh, I'm on the, I've signed my contracts, I'm just waiting for the comeback for confirmation. And uh, we've got good things coming for 2011, I'm very excited and I can't wait. James, man, it's a pleasure to have you here. Obviously in Denver we love having you here, and we're more than happy to have you as part of the Rhino family. And uh, look forward to huge things from you in the future, Thank you man. Thank very much, guys. Stay you tuned. Bet it. Cheers, man.